Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So right now I have been sent a drum kit from a producer named Machine Baby and I'm about to set this up in the drum machine designer and save myself a kit in the drum machine designer. I'm very sick at the moment. I don't know if I sound a bit funny, you lot probably don't care, but anyway, excuse my... So I'm gonna set up a kit. So what you wanna do is open up your drum machine designer. That's the first thing you wanna do. And now what I wanna do is drag in some samples into that kit. So I'm gonna get my drum kit. So we've got the machine baby kit up here. Let's shut my down loads. Here's the kit. So I'm gonna, I like to start my kits with my kicks. My kits with my kicks. So I start, I always start with the kicks. So let's drag in some drum kicks. I don't know why it's done it in that order, but anyway, there's some kicks. Now the next thing I like to do is drag in my snares because that's the next thing that we need. So let's just drag in some snares. Um, okay, just, just drag in some snares. I don't know why it's doing it in some weird order, but anyway. Mm. See, look at that. It's done it in a weird order. Like, come on, look. Just do it in the right order. But anyway, this is what happens when you set up a drum kit. Next thing, let's get some hats. Let's drag in some hats. Let's just drag them there. And the next thing, let's drag in... Let's go for some percussion. Let's drag in some percussion. Let's drag in those percussion sounds. It might have deleted some sounds in the other thing, but hey ho, whatever. And let's see if we've got any space. Okay, not all samples are signed, fine. Okay, we've got some space here. So in that space, I'm gonna drag in some open hats. So let's get four hats, perfect. There's four hats here and let's put them here okay so we've got that all there and I'm setting up in drum machine designer because basically I want to make a step sequencer so I can make a really quick beat using the step sequencer so now that we've done that we've got our drum machine designer all set up and ready to go what you then want to do is go on user patches click save and let's save it in our patches let's call this machine baby drum kit because that's my machine baby drum kit click save and I'm saving it oh it's there yeah okay we've got that saved so now what you want to do is set up a new software instrument and then this is how you then load the kit so we open up drum machine designer close it because for some reason when I have it open it doesn't want to load go back into your user patches because you saved it in your user patches double click on machine baby drum kit and there we have it, we've got my drum kit set up and let's just press a couple of keys. Is my, wait, sorry. There we go, and we're set up, ready. I don't know why it's my keyboard is not, it's my keyboard on, my keyboard's on. I don't think it's plugged in. Yeah, it's not plugged in properly. There we go, we're plugged in and we're ready to go. And that is how you save a kit in your drum machine designer and now you're ready to go. So now you can do cool things like right click, create pattern region. You've got your pattern region there. And when you open up your step sequencer, you're only gonna have a certain amount of kits in your um, step sequencer set up. If you want all of the kit that you've just added in, you go to where the plus sign is here on the left here. You click the down arrow, kit pieces, and add all. Can you see that the ones that are in gray are the ones that are already there? But we want the rest of it there as well. So you click add all. So now when I scroll down, I've got them all here. So now if I press play, I can put in some things like this. And it's as easy as that. So let's undo that because I don't want any of that there. And yeah, that's how you set up a drum kit using the drum machine designer and then you're getting ready to use the step sequencer. You don't even have to use the step sequencer if you don't want to. You can use a drum machine designer and draw it in the normal way, play it in on the keyboard and just use the normal piano roll or the normal editor to do it. You don't have to use your step sequencer, but that's how you like that. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. I make videos every single Sunday, sometimes on a Wednesday, because you know your girl is up in the game right now. So two videos a week is what we're aiming for, 2021, you know, because 2020 was a bit of an L. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.